guys, I'm Behringer. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm doing a what's in my bag. Now, my past what's in my bag videos have done well. You guys like them. And I have gotten some requests to do an updated one. So I thought I would take you guys through my bag, what's in my bag, what I bring around with me. Now, if I'm being honest, sometimes, most of the time, a lot of the time, I'm just carrying around my phone, keys, and my wallet. I don't have a huge bag. Sometimes I have a bag that has like necessities for the day. So if I'm like going out for most of the day, this is that kind of bag. I'll also have like a huge work backpack that has my computer, notebooks, pens, that sort of thing. Just depends on what I'm doing. So today I'm showing you my I'm prepared for the day bag. All of this stuff isn't always in my bag, but if it's ever in my bag, it's in there right now. So if you want to see what's in my bag, just stick around with me today. I'm throwing it back to my Patagonia sling. The bag I bring with me throughout the day changes day to day. Sometimes I have a little tote. Sometimes I grab something like my Patagonia sling, but this is definitely my most favorite bag I've ever had. It's been with me forever. Doesn't look too beat up. Honestly, 10 out of 10 recommend getting yourself a Patagonia at home. I don't know, sling. First things first, over here I have a little Van Gogh. Honestly, so cute. He jingles, so I'm gonna take him off for right now. I got him at an art museum. I'm just taking him off so he doesn't jingle around while we uh while we go through this. This bag packs a punch. As you will see, everything that I'm gonna show you is in there right now. So let's just get right into it. I always have my phone. This has a wildflower case on it. I have an 11 XS Max. Wait, what? It's not an 11. I have a XS Max. Uh, if you guys wanna see an update of what's on my phone video, let me know. Next thing I have is my little Canon G7X. This is my vlogging camera. This is my camera that I'll bring around with me, my little portable camera. Nice, easy, small, light, fits in the bag. I need to do more vlogs. Okay, the next two things kind of go hand in hand. I have a portable charger. This is just a Belkin one that I stole from my dad. And then this is just my charger. Now, I have a fear of my phone running out of battery and me being stuck or stranded or need to order some food or something and not being able to do that. What if I go into Starbucks and I can't use my mom's gift card that's on her Starbucks app because my phone's dead? So if you ever need a charger, I, I always have one. In this little front pocket, I have a couple things. I have, now this is just a little essential oils type thing. It's supposed to be stress relieving. So if I ever need to be relieved of my stress, it's just a little roller ball. You can roll on your temples, roll on your wrist. I love this thing. I like to blame it on the fact that I used to be a dancer, but I always have tons of bobby pins, hair pins, whatever you call them. They're all throughout the bag, all in my wallet, stuck to everything, honestly, there's a ton. I'm able to do a full ballet bun in any situation. Next up in that front little pocket, I have a scrunchie, usually have some hair ties. I'm ready to put my hair up. My hair often annoys me, so like putting it up nice and quick is essential for me. I need to have that option. And last but not least, in the front of this bag, I have, oh, there's another bobby pin. I have these little floss things. Now, I don't wanna be walking around and have something in my teeth and not have something. There's been too many times I've been out and I just ate something and something is in my tooth and I can't get it out. It annoys me, it frustrates me, it angers me. So, having these is a necessity. Back to our normal pocket, I have my disposable camera. This is just a Kodak. I have a bunch of disposable cameras that I've never gotten developed and I guess they're just gonna be one day, maybe when I'm 50, I'll go and get them developed and then I'll be able to look back and see all the pictures I took. Yeah, I think this is cute, kind of hipstery, kind of quirky. You can pull out your camera and be like, <laughs> I don't need to take a picture of my, I, I got my disposable. I'll be that person. Next up, um, I'm always hydrated. I'm always drinking tons of water. Keeps your skin clear, helps with digestion. Always have water on me. Okay, next up, anti-aging tip. You need your sunglasses. You don't wanna be squinting and then get crow's feet or have your eyes be sunburned. You wanna protect your eyes. So I just have my little Ray-Bans. These are like some like hexagon, geometrical type stuff. 
brown, cute, tortoise, all of that. Right now I'm loving these Ray-Bans because they are plastic rimmed, not metal rimmed. So I don't feel like I'm going to break them like my other Ray-Bans. Next up I have my car keys. Now, as you may know, I'm one who doesn't like to carry one, one of those huge lanyards that jingles and it's like you're trying to summon the reindeer of the North Pole. No, I'm not into that. So I used to just carry around this little thing, but I didn't want to lose it. So I added on this little like mini macrame string and then this little beaded sheep because um, sheep are like my favorite animals. So I think it's cute. It's simple. Key it still is light and doesn't, you know, annoy me. Next up is my wallet. Now my wallet is a mess. I need a new wallet. The zipper's broken. I've had this forever. And before that, my aunt had it forever. So honestly, like, but I have receipts. As you may know, I be driver's license, car, debit card, that sort of thing. All in my wallet, definitely want to clean it out and get a nice, cute, little, sleeker, more mature wallet for myself. If you have any suggestions, let me know. We're getting down to the end, guys. Next up, I have some tissues. I don't like to bring tissues around with me. I feel like it's annoying to have to bring them around. You can usually find like a tissue somewhere. In the winter months, when I be snotting all over the place, I don't want to have to like wipe it on my sleeve. So I have tissues. And honestly, they can come in handy if you need to like wipe something off of your makeup or like fix something or tissues can be helpful. And this one says, seize this moment. So it's like my little motivator as well as being a nice pack of tissues. I have my AirPods. Um, I only have one AirPod because I lost one. Honestly, probably one of the most tragic days of my life was when I realized I couldn't find my left AirPod. I gotta order another one. Anyways, it has a little um, dinosaur nugget on the front of it. I think it's funny, I think it's cute, and um, no one can claim that these are their AirPods because mine has the, has the nugget sticker. I have a facial moisturizer, but this also is like a body moisturizer, a lotion, that sort of thing. You can use it for everywhere. I love this one. I've been using it for a while. As you guys know, the Ultra Repair Cream Intense Hydration has been one of my ride or dies since the beginning. I freaking love this stuff. was one of my first moisturizers ever, and because I have dry skin on my face i can use it on my face wouldn't recommend if you have oily skin for everywhere else it's fine i definitely always keep one of these little things around with me if you know me you know that i use the mario badescu facial spray like no other i go through so many of these i swear to god i probably spent hundreds of dollars on these so i just keep a little travel one this is the green tea cucumber i love this little scent i want them to come out with more scents no i use this on my face but most importantly i use it on my hair if my hair is ever way too frizzy i will just spray some of this in my hair kind of judge it around and then it looks 10 times better probably because i have dry hair if you have oily hair once again get yourself some dry shampoo i have facial spray for my hair i have gum you don't want stained breath after you flossed after you ate you don't want to be smelling bad also you don't want the people around you to smell bad so you can always be like That sort of thing. You can just do one of those. Last but not least, I have my lip balms. Now, there's only three in here right now. Usually, there's like 20. So, um, yeah. I just wanted to show you like a little variety of what may be in there. Right now, I have the Bite Agave Plus. Guys, I'm freaking obsessed with this stuff. This is supposed to be a lip mask. I've just been using it as a lip balm. And then at night, I'll put on a thicker layer for a more intense hydration mask. Then I have my Glossier Sparkly Lip Gloss. I think this stuff is so cute. Just a nice little universal lip gloss, clear with some with some iridescent sparkles. And then I also have my Glossier Mint Bomb.com. This stuff is nice, a classic. Everyone knows and loves it. But this mint one is kind of fun for cooler months because, um, you put it on and then you like step outside and it's like when you brush your teeth and then you drink cold water. It's like, wow, my lips are tingling. I am refreshed. And that is it. And that's everything that's in my bag. We can put Mr. Vincent Van Gogh back on our, uh, our little thing here. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you liked looking through my bag, seeing what I kind of bring on a day-to-day -day going out type of thing. If you guys have any suggestions, Stuff I need to add to my bag, definitely let me know down in the comments. 
Also, any other video requests, you can leave them down there. If you liked it, definitely leave it a like. I hope you guys will stick around. Subscribe to see more from me. Come along the journey. Thank you guys so much for watching and peace out.